love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always I must say friends um, today we are going to be seeing about uh, one of my favorite digital technology blockchain I will tell you why it is a favorite one of my favorite digital technologies every technology tries to make the human life better and this blockchain technology uh, you know as it is also famously called World Wide Web 3 okay I will also give you the difference as we proceed in the lecture but I'll tell you why I actually really like this blockchain technology it can actually create an honest and a transparent society <clears throat> okay so that is why this is one of my favorite digital technology um, so let's actually take a deep dive into blockchain again the course has been designed for persons even from non-technical background all right thank you namaste friends today we are going to be seeing about one of my favorite uh, digital technology blockchain in today's agenda we will be covering what is a blockchain what is an asset what are the four main elements of a blockchain how the blockchain works and like always my contact information now let's actually get into the slides the first thing is what is a blockchain and why it's one of my favorite and why I think it's going to be so important. Well, blockchain is a generalized electronic ledger. Too complex, no worries. What is a ledger? So if, you know, the you know in the accounting, you know, you have something called as a credits and debits, right? So, you know, you actually put that as a, you know, in a ledger. So credit is the cash actually coming in and the debits is the cash actually going out. Or in simple terms, you have hundred dollars or hundred rupees or whichever denomination, hundred pounds or whichever denomination that you may use, hundred euros, hundred actually is coming in and how we actually spend it. So the credit is there, the debit is there. So the persons from Indian subcontinent can feel proud of one thing. It was actually designed by you know someone called Chanakya way back. Okay, so this blockchain is basically uh, it's a generalized electronic ledger of of all the transactions which has been authenticated maintained and it is distributed across a shared network okay too complex let's actually take a step back and let's actually make it simpler <laughs> now say suppose me president krishna sharma i want to go and buy a piece of land uh, you know in india i'm in the us and i don't have any person in india but i do want to buy a piece of land in india so I actually go now you know let's actually you know say that you know assuming that if there is no person that I could actually trust somebody can actually take away the land right okay this is not only in India like in any foreign country I can go buy a land in any foreign country but I want my land to be safe the piece of plot that I want to be safe because that is my retirement you know saving so what I can actually do is I can actually go in a typical case I go I actually purchase this land using my SSN or my PAN card or, or some unique identification in a I actually pay a, you know a particular sum of money and in a particular address where I'm going to buy this and I actually lock the land there will be some registrars and you know they will be saying like you know okay this person has actually bought so and so land in this and this address for so and so money and that has been dated signed and stamped the same thing just apply it in the computer terms you have nodes or computers across the globe where you don't even know the persons who are actually authenticating the transaction and then they say yes President Krishna Sharma bought this I know that he actually bought this okay so this is actually actually ha happening across the globe okay with the persons that you don't even know and they're actually authenticating the same okay and you know say suppose if the 10 persons are there only if the majority which is 51 percent or like you know six persons say yes that is right then the transaction is actually considered to be valid uh, else it is not and there are also some you know bad players here so there is something called as a proof of work and proof of stake which we will actually get into and the proof that is how some of the cryptocurrency also works okay uh, you know, I will be explaining those in detail. So at a high level, we actually understood this, right? So let's actually move on to the next slide. So, or in other words, what I've actually said, it's a distributed ledger, it's a database, global peer to peer, it's used to transfer, you know, so once a transaction is made, absolutely, absolutely no one can actually tamper it. It's a tampered proof. Okay. So let's, okay. 
So what is an asset? Okay, what are we actually buying an asset? An asset is actually defined as a value which actually requires accountability of ownership. It can be money, cryptocurrency, uh, real estate or any kind. The asset can be, you know, either tangible or intangible as well. Okay, so uh, tangible or intangible, I'm sorry. So the tangible is like your car, houses and whatnot. And intangible is like, you know, your hotel points, uh, your credit card, you know, points, your bonuses, um, you know, uh, any theater, you know, coupons, you know, those are intangible, but it's actually coming to your name and, you know, to your identification. All right. So what are the main four elements of blockchain? It's a distributed ledger. You have participants. You have a consensus that I actually discovered and there's a cryptography. A cryptography is basically a mathematical algorithm that is actually applied to all the records. Well, uh, you know, during some world war and even like, you know, during some, you know, uh, in an olden days, what people actually used to do is they used to send letter, which is not easily, you know, understood by any person. Uh, you know, uh, like say, suppose, you know, you can actually write a letter in your language, but there'll be many persons knowing that language, but you can actually have your own code language. Okay. Now say, suppose my name is Prasannan, right? And before every P, I add a zero and before every R, I, R, I add a one and before every A, I add seven. Okay. So the person on the other side, when I have, you know, the zero one seven, when they actually decoded, they know it is Prasannan who actually wrote it. Okay, so you know we have history in the world where persons actually use this cryptography in order to convey what they wanted to do during the you know during dire times. Okay, so this all actually comes under the blockchain. These are the four main mechanisms. All right. Uh, now the main thing: how does the transaction get into the blockchain? How does blockchain work, and how does the transaction get into it? As I said, a transaction is requested that I actually bought a piece of land somewhere and then immediately when this thing happened, you know, a block or representing a transaction has been created. The block has been sent to every node, the participant in the network, and they actually validate the transaction. Okay. And the persons who actually validate say it correctly, they actually receive a reward. Okay. Which is called the proof of work. And this also works in cryptocurrency. Okay. Uh, we will not be seeing okay uh, you know we will be seeing the technology involved in cryptocurrency but i will not be guiding towards which cryptocurrency is better to buy where to invest okay so that is not the purpose the purpose is to actually appreciate the technology and i will surely be taking in some cryptocurrency and discuss the technology behind it and if it is something is right a block is actually added to existing blockchain the network is distributed and the transaction is complete so this is foolproof and no one can actually tamper the same. All right. So this is the blockchain at a high level. You can go actually have a look at my blog spot. You can also add me in LinkedIn. You can contact me anytime. And I've also written, you know, more notes on the same. I trust you like this lecture. Thank you. Namaste friends. I want to thank you for giving me your time in order to see this blockchain technology. Understand this blockchain technology is an immutable where records cannot be tampered. Uh, and you know, so it's like a foolproof and uh, you know, no one can actually erase a record. Okay, so this as, as I actually mentioned the record, you know, in, in the lecture. So I want to thank you for giving me your time and also my wife Jayashree for encouraging me, you know, towards, towards my passion. Till we see next time. Cheers. Take care.